Hey friends, it's 2023, a brand new year is upon us. Um, I wanted to take a moment to kind of reflect a little bit and also to set some intentions for the year ahead of us because there's some big changes that I know that I want to make in my life and uh, I hope there are some things on this list that are going to be of interest to you too. Drex here from Drex Factor Poise, sharing with you the love of poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, we're setting down some thoughts and intentions for 2023. Come and ride with me. Before we dive in though, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing businesses and what they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And special thanks to non-business friends of the channel, Johnny Howard, Leigh Machinsky, and Becca Beckunen. Thank you all so very much for your support for my work and my mission. So as I'm recording this, it is January 2nd, and um, it feels really nice because normally when we get into these months of the winter, um, I'm struggling pretty bad with seasonal depression. And this is the first year that I can remember that that has not been the case. I've been really, really, really on top of doing things like using a therapy lamp and uh, taking St. John's Wort every day to try and keep my mind in a uh, more positive place. And the good news is, is that it's been working. And one of the great pieces of freedom that is coming with that is that I have enough presence of mind not only to be planning out some great things for the coming year, but also to really think about the kind of year that I want to be having. So I wanted to outline 10 intentions for 2023 that um, I hope are going to make me a happier person and also bring some more joy out to the rest of the world too. So one of the most awesome accomplishments that I had in 2022 was I became the number one poi channel on YouTube. I overtook Nick Woolsey and I currently stand at just under 90,000 subscribers. And in 2023, I want to become the first poi spinner to cross the 100,000 subscriber mark. Now, granted, it's not like anything comes with that aside from, you know, you get a plaque from YouTube and that's pretty cool. And I really love the idea that it says something about flow arts that we can have a poi channel that is 100,000 subs. So um, it is going to take a little bit of doing this coming year but I'm looking forward to crossing that threshold and I hope y'all do what you can to help me out there, spread the word, share my videos, urge other people to subscribe. We can make this happen. And in pursuit of that, honestly, one of those goals that I have been batting around for the better part of two months now is to kind of get back to basics with my channel a little bit. Um, I've definitely experimented a lot in the past couple of years in terms of the content that I make on this channel, and it's taken me pretty far afield from where I started. And some of those experiments I'm really, really proud of, and some of them I look back on and think that, you know, I was a little bit out of my lane. And I think that going back to really focusing on teaching people the things that they need in order to bring joy into their own lives is a goal that is commendable and also one that really should be the backbone of this channel. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing video essays or taking strong positions on things inside the community, but what it does mean is that I think that the priority, once again, is going to be to help people learn this art and to make sure that they have the opportunity to have it bring as much joy into their lives as it's brought into mine. And among the things that I have done to branch out, things that I want to hold on to, last year um, I put together my first choreographed poi piece in something like three or four years, and it felt really good. I want to do at least two pieces this coming year. It's a very, very low threshold, but at the same time, um, choreographing poi dance is kind of a strange and chaotic process, and I want to both set an intention that I think is a good one while also making sure that I'm not stressing myself out too much over something that is meant to be both fun as well as fulfilling. So yes, that's me kind of hedging a little bit, but I hope you understand why. But I also do want to try some new things in 2023, and probably the biggest new thing that I want to try is I want to branch out into live events. 
Right now, I am thinking both about doing a large-scale event, uh, something that is similar to a Flow or Fire Festival, but with my own unique spin on it, pun intended, um, and also perhaps some local spin jams and trying out different ideas to see what I can uniquely bring to the table for both kinds of events and whether there's an audience for those unique things. It also doesn't hurt that 2023 is the 15-year anniversary of me starting my YouTube channel, or I should say, starting Poi videos on my YouTube channel. And that is something that I want to commemorate. That is a milestone that I definitely want to observe, and I think doing a live event would be a good way of doing it. So keep your eyes peeled to this space because there will be announcements. I would also like to create better professional relationships for myself. I feel like the past couple of years I've been doing a relatively good job of making sure that the people that I bring into my life as friends are people that are super supportive and empathetic and allowing them to be there for me in times when it's important. And I would like to see more of that happen for myself in my professional life as well. You know, my channel is a one-man show. Um, I do all of the writing, all of the editing, all of the shooting, all of the publishing on this channel. I don't really have co-workers. I don't really have people that I get to talk shop with a lot, and I don't have a lot of professional relationships that happen on a direct basis like that. So I would really love to find people both to collaborate with as well as to work with me in creating content on my channel that I have professional relationships with in the same way that I have had my friendships with. All right, now let's get into some more personal stuff. First up, and this is really silly, but honestly, I kind of want to see if I can get the splits down this year. I've been taking fitness a lot more seriously in the past couple of years, and especially since the pandemic hit. And one of those things that I've really been wanting to work on is my flexibility. I spent most of my adult life sitting behind a computer, so I kind of want to be able to do more stuff with my body, and flexibility and strength training is big on the list of things that will help with that. And honestly, just being able to do the splits is kind of bragging rights. Next up, doing an escape room every single month of 2020. This almost happened in 2022. It wasn't an official intention that was set, but the group of people that I like doing this with, I think we've kind of realized that we like doing this as a regular habit, and monthly seems like a good schedule for that. So I'm really hoping that we can make that happen, not the least of which because I love escape rooms and I love solving puzzles and I love the fact that I have friends that are as into this as I am and we can go enjoy it together. Next up, I want to go visit my nieces. Um, I've gotten to see them once a year for the past couple years and I didn't really get that long this past year. Um, they're absolutely adorable. The oldest turned six today. Happy birthday, Alana. And uh, they're growing up fast. I, I want to get my little snapshots of them as an uncle. Next up, I am setting an intention to go travel and have a vacation by myself at some point in 2023. I did do this in 2022. Uh, I went out to Utah because uh, Salt Lake City has two amazing natural history museums that are right in the same metro area, and that just struck me as being awesome, so I wanted to go and check them out. And you know, honestly, it was also just a great opportunity opportunity for me to reflect and get back in touch with myself and feel what were some things that I had kind of been neglecting in my personal and professional life. And my final intention for 2023 is um, I want to figure out what dating and romantic relationships look like for me at this point in my life. So I feel like it's become more or less a meme at this point that the dating world has become just an absolute trash fire in the past couple years. A lot of people had a really difficult time during the pandemic, and that has had an impact on a lot of their personal relationships too. And no judgment here, we were all struggling there. Especially in the past year, it's kind of felt like a lot of the things that I used to see as being pretty normal in the dating world have almost just like evaporated, or the rules somehow changed. And it's been weird for me to adjust to that, not the least of which, because because you know, I've been going to therapy regularly for the past four years now, and I've learned a lot about myself in the process. And there's a part of me that wonders if what changed wasn't the world around me, but me, 
And that opens up a very big question of what does it look like for me now as my best friend Ethan refers to me as Drex 2.0, what exactly do relationships look like for Drex 2.0? And that's what I got for 2023. What are some of the intentions that you all have set for 2023? I'd love to hear them. Drop me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are and what you're looking forward to this year. If you got anything out of this video, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, both to keep the conversation going, as well as to help support my channel. Thank you in advance. And speaking of thank yous, this video would not be possible without the kind support of all of these nice people right here. These are my flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you one and all for your very generous support. And if you out there watching are not currently a supporter and you would like to become one, you can do that by heading on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up. I like making videos about flow arts and poi spinning to help people grow. And with your support, I can keep on doing that. So go check that out, please and thank you. All right, if you'd like to check out any of my other flow adjacent vlogs that I have done over the years, I will go ahead and leave a link to a playlist of those videos down in the description, as well as up here on screen if you are watching on YouTube. Also, the YouTube algorithm thinks that you might like this top video right here based upon your past viewing habits, so maybe give that a look as well. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you are having a very happy new year, and I will see you with a new video real soon. Peace.